What's good family, welcome back to the channel. In this video right here, we have Tyrese Gibbs exposing the Antichrist and Saint worshipers over here in Hollywood. Now this is someone that's actually very notable. He's been in a lot of Fast and Furiouses. He's done iconic movies like Bad Boy. He makes music. So he's very well knowledgeable on the music industry and the entertainment industry in a whole. Okay, so I realize that he's coming out more often talking about Jesus, God, and when things get a little bit more spiritual. He's, he's been very public about it, is that he recently went through a divorce and it's something that's still, you know, it's still a pain that's on the inside. But putting two and two together, sometimes it takes you losing something in life for you to get closer to God. And in that, whether it could have been a distraction, I'm not saying specifically his divorce, but some people, you know, they may lose some money, they may lose a friend, they may lose a certain relationship, whatever it is. But in that season right there, the reality of God becomes much more clear and how God is working in your life becomes much more clear. And this can be a reason why he's, he's, he's been much more vocal about God in his life. So he's actually going to expose the Antichrist and the same worshipers in Hollywood right here. So let's get straight into this interview and let's see what's going on. Feeling like, wow, you know, no John Singleton, no Paul Walker. Mm. And I'm still here and just kind of like, you know, not feeling like, man, is something going to happen to me next? That's not right. the feeling. It's the pressure of I got to make them proud. Right. I got to do whatever it takes to keep Van up, to keep the walkers up, his daughter, Cody. That's why I'm running around doing fuel fest. Like, you know, it's like, yo, whatever I could do to make sure that we keep each other up. John Singleton's son. His, his seventh child, he named Seven, is best friends with my daughter, Soraya. Damn. They're doing play dates at least three days a week in Atlanta. So it's, it's a tribe. And I'm looking as a person who, who is overwhelmed with what God has decided to put me in and has done over my life. Even when I've went above and beyond to mess it up myself, God says... I still got you. That's his grace right there. And and that's what allows for me at 44 years old to still feel like I'm a three-year-old who's who's in experiencing Christmas every single day, what I drive, where I go, the people I get to meet, mm -hmm. the relationships that I still have over all these years, the laughter that is still in my soul, that's beautiful. even though I got every reason in the world to sometimes be depressed and sad right, and emotionally right. and psychologically wiped out. Right. Look at my life, bro. I'm on my way. I got Kim Burrell. Yes, man. You know, I used to write for her too, right? You used to write for her. I <laughs> yeah. love that. Yeah, man. We I share don't... a lot of, just a lot, a lot, a lot of the gospel pain come from me. Wow, gotcha. Yeah. So we got Kim Burrell. <laughs> hey, Kim was like, you going to hell, <laughs> She was, like, just got right. she, was, she was like, I don't know if the Lord know you're playing or you're serious. Like, you know, I don't know if these jokes are live, baby. You know so what I'm saying? God, God will send you the desires of your heart. I hear you, brother. Right? Imagine being a motherless child. You know. Yeah, man. Intimately. Yes, sir. And then God says, I know what you desire, and I'm going to send you your mother via Kim Burrell. I love it. And the talks and the laughter and the bonding and the conversation that was never there. Now, people know I didn't have the best relationship with my mom. So as a son, I was loaning for the relationship to be better while she was still here. Yes, sir. So I really started loaning for that relationship once she transitioned. So God will send you all of the desires of your heart. And that, that is something that I want everybody who can hear this interview to know. As much as I'm supposed to be promoting this movie and talking about my album, I just feel like we're in competition right now because they are trying to normalize the devil. They are trying to populate. The devil is, is on the main stage at award shows and in every video and yeah, man. signs and symbols. Nice. And I said, you know what? We need to stop treating our relationship with Jesus like the little buddy that you talk to before you go to bed at night mm. and not be more vocal about all the things that God means to us and all of the things that God has brought us through. Because there's been a lot of moments that you didn't post about. Mm -hmm. But yet you know, how did God decide to get yeah. me through this? Yeah. That's a fact. I understand what he's talking about not letting Jesus be like the small little buddy. Obviously, Jesus is our friend. We can talk to Jesus as our friend. 
But we also have to understand how mighty he is. Because at the end of the day, it's by the power of Jesus, the Holy Spirit, that will overcome and conquer all wickedness against your life. We just watched our last video on how there's people out here really working doing spells. So people can experience destruction, death, disease, and just a wicked life. But it's by the power of the Holy Spirit that everything else can be washed away, especially within you. Amen. And, yeah, they going above and beyond to promote the devil. And it's pissing me off. Mm -hmm. Because they, they used to, devil worshippers used to be real secretive. Oh, like, yeah. going down in the basement, this yeah, secret man. world. Now they just now like, Now they on the ah. device, too. Yeah, Believe they, that. Yeah. I do want to come back, and I want to talk to you about uh, Fast 10 as well. Yeah. Uh, why you got to do that? that Big boy. Don't don't even don't even say pause. His name I'm pretty sure his name is actually Big Boy. Does that sound a little funny with me calling him Big Boy? It does. Hey, it is what it is. That's his Alright, whatever. But why he gotta switch the topic, you know what I'm saying? Things were just getting more real than real. Things were actually getting deep on a spiritual level, on a soul level, deeper than just this music and, and movies. He started talking about the spiritual aspect of life, how people are actually, they used to just go down in the basement, do these spells in the dark, then people would just be wondering why, why, are, why are bad things happening in my life when spirits come in and they're unaware of it. But now Tyrese is talking about how, nah, they're making it obvious, y'all. Like, bro, like, they're, they're making it so obvious, so obvious within these music videos, just what they're saying. It doesn't get more obvious. We have Lil Uzi Vert talking about I make a city girl believe in Satan. Like, it's put it's been put right in front of our face. But there's there's two things that come with that. It's you have the people that are able to see it, which it seems like I don't know how many people are able to see it nowadays. And then you have the people that are just becoming desensitized to the devil. It's just becoming the norm. You get what I'm saying? With it being put in their face. But he exposes how is the Antichrist is really here working, yeah. Above and beyond to promote the devil. And it's pissing me off. Mm -hmm. Because they, they used to, devil worshippers used to be real secretive. Oh, like yeah. going down in the basement, this yeah, secret man. world. Now they just Now like, they on the ah. device too. Yeah, Believe they, that. Yeah. I do want to come back and I want to talk to you about uh, Fast 10 as well. <laughs> yeah. All righty. There's this movie that I wanted to talk to you about. I think you, I think you know about it. Bruh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All righty. Fast 10 <laughs> is Bruh. That's the part where they want to, you know, clip it, segment it, bring it back on track. We don't want to lose focus here. Because at the end of the day, he has his own platform and he definitely wants all the other celebrities that want to come on. And he knows that all those other celebrities, they post most likely on their devil worship and stuff. It's just the world we live in. You feel what I'm saying? There's a good and bad to everything, y'all. Yeah. The good news is, though, is that God is good. And the good news is, is that God is, you know, there's no, nothing more powerful than God. Than the power of God, most definitely. And we could skip and fast forward to this part right here. Um, where Tyrese, I believe, begins to pray. But the one thing that we continue to do, man, let's continue to work on ourselves, too. Yes, sir. And I thank you for coming into the neighborhood, yeah, my man. My pleasure, man. And, you know, we're doing a, a, a Fast 10, a Fast X. We're going to do a whole screening mm -hmm. oh. that's exclusive. Oh. Just, I wonder you, how that happened. Yeah, man. Well, I put it all together. You did. Uh, course, right? yeah, yeah, it's uh, something that yeah. I put so together. So just so y'all know, for the city of Los Angeles, we have the international world premiere of of Fast and the Furious, Fast 10 in Rome. Great, okay? yes. Roman, in, in the relationship with Christ. If it's popular about the devil and be loved by, if you don't mind, okay. man, because so many people in the city that we love and be loved by is is carrying a lot. And mm -hmm. and like when we talk about the devil seem to be way more popular than, than the relationship with Christ. If it's possible, man, can I just close this interview out with a prayer from Mama Kim Burrell you, to yes bless the city. Yes. Brother, if please. Don't mind that, I no, no, no. Hey, brother, there's no such time. thing called too much prayer, bro. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank no you. No such thing called too much prayer. Kim Burrell. Kim so Burrell. That's the whole beautiful. Legendary. legendary. That's a W, so y'all. W's in the comment section. They went through a divorce and foreclosure. Homeless. They were living their best life. They got degrees on the wall. They got their whole family sleeping in sheds in downtown L.A. And even if you're in mansions, the mental, emotional, yes, and man. psychological warfare has been real for most of us. So this is my mama right here. And I just want her to bless everybody Please do. with a prayer. Wow, don't, 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 don't crash closing your eyes driving, okay? But just receive <laughs> this prayer from Mama Kim Burrell. Here we go. 
Dear God, thank you. You're everything to us. You're everything through us. Without you, we are nothing. Mm -hmm. Thank you for mm -hmm. your love. Thank, thank you for your healing. Yeah. Thank you for your protection. Thank you, dear God, for your guidance. For every person that sees and hears this, do more for them. Be more through them. Thank you for all things, God. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, sister. Hey. Appreciate you. Thank you, Tyrese. Hey. Love. I'm not going to lie. That prayer right there. Hey, if you received it, you received it. You felt it. You know, yeah. I don't know if y'all, I got the chills in that joint. Because God is real. And God is real. One thing the devil does not want us to know is that God is real. We understand God is real. And we understand that God is able to live within us. And we understand that God can always be with us. It's like, yo, we understand that, yo, we could do a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm, prote I'm protected. But I like what he was talking about, though. Because he, he he mentioned how there was a there's a lot of people, especially in L.A. I went to L.A. one time. Just the, the gap the gap between the rich and the poor is insane. And I'm pretty sure in L.A., you have, that's one of the richest cities. You have all the celebrities living there up on the hills. But when you come down to the streets, a lot of homeless people. So he was praying for those people. On the streets that don't have much, even with their college degrees, they can't, they still in the shed. But not only that, the people that are living in the mansions too. Because there, that doesn't, that doesn't have you escape from the spiritual realm one bit. They're still going through like spiritual attacks, psychological attacks, some depression, anxiety to a whole nother level. To a whole nother level. And it's like, it's, it's when you're at that point when you recognize, it's like, oh, snap, yo, this mansion is really not solving my mental health. You feel what I'm saying? In some cases, it can make it a little bit worse for some people. But he mentioned both ends to it. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, that's why that's why spiritual, spirituality and being grounded in, in a higher source and knowing that there's something bigger than who you are. That is going to protect you and guide you at the end of the day. You feel what I'm saying? The, nothing material is going to protect you from that. It's by the power of the Jesus, the Holy Spirit. I like that point that he made, though. He, he showed that everyone in this world needs that protection and prayer. Yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you do smash the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one the same way you're going to catch me in the next one. W's in the comment section. Peace.